Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Don't Starve Mega Pack for the PS4. Don't Starve is a survival game developed by Clay Entertainment. The basic premise of Don't Starve is to survive for as long as you can. To survive, you need to eat, gather resources, craft items, build defenses, and grow crops to see you through the harsh winter. You can select from a variety of playable characters such as Wilson the Scientist, Willow who is a bit of a pyromaniac, Wolfgang the Strongman and WX78 who is some sort of mechanical man. Each character has individual traits that will either help or hinder your progress. Another key factor is your character's mental well-being. As this deteriorates you'll start to hallucinate and eventually those hallucinations will attack and kill you if you don't cure the affliction. There is a sandbox mode or an adventure mode which pits you against Maxwell, the game's supervillain. The Mega Pack Edition includes the base game, the Shipwrecked and Reign of Giants DLCs, Don't Starve Together, which is a multiplayer version of the game, and you also get a couple of PlayStation themes. So what is the game like to play? Well the first thing to point out is the game uses a permadeath system, so when you die all your progress will be lost. There are reviving shrines in the map, so if you find one, you will get one more chance. The game maps are randomly generated, so despite having to start again every time, at least it's always a different world. Before starting a match, you can tweak and customise the settings for your game, so if things are a little bit hard for you, you can increase the volume of food or resources or lower the amount of enemies or hazards. Whichever character you choose, you have to be aware of three things. Your health, your sanity and your stomach. You need to eat regularly and certain items will increase your health bar as well but it's the sanity that's a bit trickier to manage. The nights are the first problem as if you don't have a campfire or torch you'll die because in the dark your character will get attacked and they'll be gone. But even with light it will still affect your sanity as will confrontations with enemies and some other dark objects that you find on your travels. The other main part of Don't Starve involves you gathering resources. This includes cutting down trees, picking grass and berries, digging up graves, collecting cattle poop to fertilize your garden and many other things. Once you have enough of a certain resource, you can craft an item. You can craft tools, weapons and clothing as well as other things. And you'll have to recraft these periodically as things do not last forever. You can build traps to catch rabbits or birds or build an outer defensive wall to stop the dark hounds that attack you after you've survived a certain amount of days. The enemies in the game vary from spiders to the aforementioned dark hounds, long-legged creatures, giant trees and also pigs. But the pigs can also be recruited if you give them some meat. The game days change in length as the seasons change and once the winter comes you'll really need to be prepared otherwise it's going to be game over very quickly. You can use fire to burn down entire forests, you can explore caves or you can find ancient artifacts that will help you work toward completing the main adventure mode. The game is also playable online with others or via a couch co-op option. Overall, Don't Starve Mega Pack is a comprehensive and in-depth survival game that's fun to play while still being a massive challenge to complete. It is very heavy on resource gathering though, and if that's not your cup of tea, you'll probably get bored quick. But if you enjoy quirky games with addictive gameplay and a dark sense of humour, then Don't Starve is really worth looking at. Graphically the game has a hand-drawn cartoon style and thematically the game feels a bit like a Tim Burton animated movie. The characters, objects and the environments they are simple but clearly defined and I never experienced any performance issues. The in-game music is excellent, it has that quirky style and it's like something out of a Hammer Horror movie or A Nightmare Before Christmas. The sound effects are all in keeping with that style and the overall aesthetics and sound are very good. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The core gameplay loop is very addictive, it's simple to pick up and play but difficult to master. The couch co-op or online multiplayer modes are great. The Shipwreck DLC is a refreshing albeit challenging addition. And overall the Mega Pack Edition is just great value for money. What's bad? It can be a little bit of a grind fest as you can't really relax playing this. You always have to keep up with the busy work. The game can get a bit frustrating when you die as you have to do it all again you can customise your levels before starting a new game so if things are too hard just make them a bit easier. So what's the verdict? Don't Starve Mega Pack is a great survival game that's simple to get into but very difficult to truly master. The game keeps you busy at all times and if you're idle you're going to die very quick. Foraging for supplies and resources is enjoyable as is building your base and fortifying it, growing crops and being prepared it's a really fun experience. 
It is very challenging though and it might be a bit too hard for people because you really don't get any help, you just have to figure things out as you go. It's the kind of game I'll happily play any time and whilst playing it I really enjoy it. But after a while, once you die a few times, it does get boring and you can't be bothered to keep starting over again and again and again. I play it periodically, like I'll play it every few months for a couple of weeks, but then once I get bored I'm like, okay, done here, I'll come back to it another time. But it's still, it's always an enjoyable experience. So my score for Don't Starve Mega Pack is 8 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.